Welcome to our lecture online and rounding off the great scientists and minds of the world that devised the concept and principles of quantum mechanics is of course Heisenberg. And Werner Heisenberg is the one who came up with the idea that one cannot determine the exact or precise position of momentum of a particle at the same time. He knew that small particles were very much subject to very minute forces when they were interacting with other small particles. For example, a single photon interacting with an electron can have a huge impact on the electron. For example, when you want to observe the exact position of an electron and a photon comes along, bounces off the electron and then enters the observer's eye or enters the observer, observer's microscope, then the position at that moment would be known because we would know that the photon would come from this particular location. However, the interaction between the photon and the electron is such that the electron would then get pushed in some unknown direction with unknown velocity and of course it could be any velocity in any direction. In other words, the amount of information we have the, about the momentum would be very sketchy at best. For example, you can then draw a big circle around it and say that we now know that the electron will have moved in some direction since it had the interaction with the electron so we don't know which direction it went we don't know how fast it went in that direction so even though we may know the exact position we no longer know anything about how fast it's moving and what direction it's moving so therefore the momentum of that particle would be completely unknown so the equation that Heisenberg came up with would then be the equation here where the uncertainty, that little delta sign here, that little triangle sign simply means the uncertainty in its position multiplied times uncertainty in its momentum always has to be greater than h bar over 2 where h bar is of course Planck's constant divided by 2 pi. If you now look at the units of that, x times p, so x would be position, p would be momentum when we come over here, x of course would be in meters, p would be in kilograms, meters per second, with other words the, the units uh, associated with the product of the position and momentum would be kilogram meters square per second square. A second equation, and there's actually more than two equations that, that we associate with Heisenberg uncertainty principle, but the second equation that was derived was that the uncertainty in the energy of a particle times the uncertainty in the time elapsed when the particle was observed had to also be greater than h bar over 2. You say, well, how do you go from here to here? But if you take a look at the units of energy and time, right over here, energy is in joules, times is in seconds. Of course, a joule is a newton meter. Newton meters times seconds, and then a newton, of course, is the force required to move a kilogram uh, or at least accelerate a kilogram at one meter per second square. So now if you then simplify this units right here, notice you also come up with kilograms meter square per second, just like you do when you multiply position and momentum. So at least from a unit perspective, this is a valid equation and something we can use to describe the uncertainty in knowing the time that a particle can exist and the energy that particle can have during that uncertain time. So you can see that because of the great difficulty in actually nailing down things such as the energy, the time, the position, and the momentum of a particle, Heisenberg came up with a, a principle saying really there's a limitation as to how accurate we can know things at the quantum mechanic level and also the strange things that seem to happen at the quantum mechanic level can be explained by saying that for short periods of time particles can violate the typical rules of physics because they are within the bounds of the uncertainty that we cannot define and so actually particles are allowed to do things that normal particles at large scale cannot do because of course at that point the uncertainty principle would not have any effect on large particles but on small particles it does and because of that tremendous discovery Heisenberg received the Nobel Prize and if I'm not mistaken he received the Nobel Prize in 1932 for his formulation of the uncertainty principle really describing the difficulty and the wonder of quantum mechanics or I should say the difficulty in describing quantum mechanics at the minute detail and the wonder in how quantum mechanics seem to be able to circumvent in some cases the natural laws of physics at least for very short periods of time and so therefore that rounds off the giants of quantum mechanics a nice introduction to the concept the general concept of quantum mechanics and now let's delve into the more mathematical portion of the course and so there'll be a whole set of set of videos describing all the various aspects of quantum mechanics how to deal with it and how to figure out those very difficult problems that you might encounter at times
So stay tuned and more videos will follow.